Hey guys, welcome out to the channel today. We are going to be working on a little project that I need to get completed for my car to pass inspection. Um, I have an EVAP leak and the code for it is PO455, I believe. Whatever it is, it means that there's an EVAP leak and it's a large leak. I've already been through testing all sorts of different things on this, trying to figure out where this leak could possibly be from. So what your EVAP system does is pretty much take all the fumes from your car that you haven't used and puts them through another charcoal container and then puts it back right into your engine to get reburned again so that there's less... Uh, hazardous fumes going out into uh, mother nature. So what you have is uh, a couple different valves that are involved with this and a, another container. And I've already checked on the two valves and they were both good. And I can't figure out where this leak is coming from. If the container isn't built or if your system's not building up pressure, it thinks that there's a large leak. So sometimes there could be like a little bitty slit and it's throwing the fumes out and it's not building up that pressure and then it gives you this fault. So if you take it to a shop, you're guaranteed to pay at least $100 or more just for them to even look at the car. The shop rates nowadays, I think I called somewhere and it was like $95 an hour just to have your car looked at. Just to be looked at not even to be fixed but just to have your car looked at it was $95 and I know that the parts on the car are good so what I think I have is a leaking vacuum hose or a leaking hose somewhere and the easiest way to do that is by performing what they call a smoke test and it's a very simple test it's where they actually just put a connection back into your hose line and blow smoke directly back in through the whole entire system and they look for the smoke to come out somewhere. And I was gonna try to find a smoke machine to use, but they are very expensive, like 300 plus dollars. And nowhere around here just uh, lets you loan them like a Advance Auto or AutoZone, somewhere like that. They don't just let you loan those. Um, they don't have those ones for rent. So I've done some uh, research and I figured out that I can do an easy uh, smoke testing setup with a paint can. As you can see, I went and bought this uh, silver paint can from Lowe's. This was like $5. And I have a couple of uh, air fittings that I've just had. Uh, so if you guys have a shop, you guys might have extra fittings. These ones are for 3 8 inch line. This one is for a half inch line which is perfect for the hose that I'm going to be using. So here is the hose that I'm going to be using. It's got like a half inch inner diameter. I don't know what the outer is, but this will be where the uh, half inch part will be going. And then on the other end, the threaded part. So you're also going to need some baby oil. This is like a dollar or two at uh, your local Walmart, I believe, and a rag. So let's go ahead and see if we can build this see if we can make it uh, actually work and uh, maybe we'll find out where the leak is so we are putting one of the fittings that's the 3 8 inch on on this side and i'm going to put it kind of on the lower section because uh, smoke rises so this will be the inlet right here and i'm just going to use a punch and dent the metal just so that the drill bit doesn't wobble and go anywhere. And then we'll flip it on over to the other side. And this will be where the other hose line will be coming out. We'll put a dent right here. This one will hold that half inch section for the black hose. So now we gotta drill out these two holes. And I'm just checking it on the micrometer just to see what size bit I need. And that's 0.5 on that one and the 3 8 inch is also a, a 0.5 so we'll just double check this all right and it won't fall through which is what we want we want to be able to take it and be able to thread it through Now I've got some RTV sealant. You guys could probably use some uh, Teflon tape, but I'm just gonna coat this just around where the threads are. And then we'll 
go ahead and start threading that in. If you guys are wondering, these are only like a couple cents, I don't know, less than a dollar to get. So I can always pull them out and get that, uh, the sealant off of there later. And you can see the inside right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that sealant on the threads on both of the insides as well. I don't think that that could be any kind of harm. It could only help it from uh, leaking any kind of smoke out. And you guys can already see I've already attached one of my hoses. This will be the outlet. All right, so now that we've got in the RTV all the little connections on, you wanna take a rag and throw a rag in there. And then this is where your baby oil is gonna come into play. I'm telling you guys, we just didn't buy baby oil for some kind of weird reason. Oh, it's parent proof. All right, so this has like a squirt top on it, and we're just going to squirt a bunch of it in there. I don't know how much. This is a trial and error type of thing. So now you guys can see that the rag is fairly wet, and what we're going to do is light it on fire. That's right. Now, caution, this is a metal can, so when there's fire in here, this will get hot. All right, so it's on fire. We want it to burn a little bit. And then we're gonna put the top on. You guys can see the smoke's coming out of there. Ooh, it's already hot. All right, and now this is where, let me get a hammer real quick and knock that down. All right, so the other end of your hose is right here and it should eventually have smoke coming out of it. And this is where the air line comes into play because we'll hook up the air line. Let me get a glove. It's warm already. And so we got the uh, air line right here. And we got like hardly any PSI on it. And you guys can see now I'm pushing smoke out of the hose. Let me try to get that on there a little bit better. Oh, the smoke is out. I wonder if the fire died in there. So we got the the can opened back up. And as you can see, it burnt a little bit of that rag, but not much. So I don't know how much exactly oil I'm going to need. It's still soaked. So you guys see, it's still it's still pretty wet. So we're going to have to play with this a little bit. And uh, we're about to go take it out to the car and see what's going to happen. We are set up over here at the car. And we've got our ear line stretched from the shop out here. we got our paint bucket. And then we've got our hose that is running all the way up inside here. And this is where my connection point is for the uh, EVAP system. It goes to right here. I don't know how well you guys can see that. That's the um, purge valve. So right here is your purge valve. And then over near your container is where your vent valve is. So I've gotten my other connection for the airline hooked in here and this um, is fairly tight and what I've already done is added more oil into the rag so you guys can see that it's pretty good and so and as soon as um, I get the fire going really good I'm gonna go ahead and knock the top on and then I'm gonna hook up the airline I don't think I'll have much time to uh, really look for a leak but uh, hopefully it's enough time 
I'm going to start with the gas cap area and just look there and then move my way up to the uh, engine. I might have to do this a couple times. Alright, so I got the propane going. I'm going to light the rag on fire. There it goes. I want it to burn a little bit better. That way it makes a lot of smoke. Got the can top ready. That should be good enough. Put that on there. And you have to seal it or else it'll pop off. And there we go. That's hot. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go right over to the gas cap and start looking for any kind of leaks. Okay, I see smoke right here. So we have a confirmed leak somewhere on the back side. You guys see the smoke coming? So we do have a leak. I just need to find it now. Usually your main leaks are right here at the gas cap. Um, but it's not coming out of there or around it anywhere. It's actually coming from around the gas tank area So that's gonna be a little bit more difficult to uh, to see and find but uh Hopefully we'll be able to get something. So I'm seeing smoke right out of here Which is the vent valve for the evap canister now the vent valve is always open that's why smoke is coming out of here and the purge valve up in the front is always closed and then it's told to open whenever it needs to get um, some of the vapors back into the engine so i need to figure out a way to uh, pretty much keep this closed for right now maybe some tape or something like that that way it builds back up into the system and I can see that there's a leak somewhere. So this is the tube I was talking about, and as you can see, I've affixed it with plenty of redneck uh, fixer upper, some duct tape, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and charge the system again with some smoke and see if it's coming out anywhere else besides right here. All right, so there is a canister right under there. You guys can see that right there. And after I taped that off, I heard a leak from the back side of it. I didn't see any of the smoke, but I heard an air leak. I couldn't get under here quick enough. And as I was looking at it, all of a sudden, the paint can top exploded off and it damaged the paint can. So I think my canister, my EVAP canister, might be going bad or might have gone bad on that back side. The uh, paint can lid flew about probably 10 feet in the air so by what it sounded like and then landed about five feet away the evap purge valve wasn't sitting correct so i'm going to go ahead i went and reset that pulled it out checked it and then um i'm going to go ahead and try to see if maybe that was an issue as well so we're going to go to that one and this will allow me to reset the code. I'll show you guys what code it is as well in case I told you guys wrong at the beginning. And the ground is soaking wet. That's why my pants are wet. Right, so it says I have one code found. And we'll go to the engine. Uh, read code. Stored. And it's PO455, which is the EVAP emissions system leak largely detected. And uh, we'll just go and erase the code. Now remember, once you do this, you can't go get your car inspected because the diagnostic codes won't have been, uh, or your readiness codes won't have been read yet. So if you actually went into something like this you'll see that there's a bunch of wait i gotta get into here you'll see that there's a bunch of stuff so i got the catalytic converter system not ready the evap and then o2 sensor and the hrt aren't ready yet so that is a very simple cheap way to figure out if you have a leak somewhere uh i tried to it's a little iffy with the smoke you kind of got to build it up 
and then plug it up and hurry up and check whatever you want to do. I probably lit the rag on fire for about 10 different times and each time um, it was very simple to light off and as you can see there's it's not burnt it's just still really oily and the uh, I mean it's a very simple setup probably cost uh, ten dollars max uh, to do that compared to three hundred dollars for an actual smoke machine I'm only going to use this probably once or twice maybe and uh, I think the main cause of my issue with the evap leak is that uh, canister but I'm gonna go ahead and run this for a few days see if the code comes back if it does I'm gonna go ahead and order the canister and get that switched out I'll give you guys an update at some point and see where we're at with that hope you guys found it uh, useful and uh, make your own smoke machine sometime for your car thanks guys for watching I'll see you guys on the next one